Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna be watching the pre-judging of the Masters Mr. Olympia 2023 and we got some great footage, a couple of great photos, you're gonna be taking a look at them and let's see, let's analyze this show, let's see who is going to win and based on what I'm seeing so far, I'm not so sure, like top 3 is very very close so as you can see you have Max Charles on the left in the middle right there in the center you have Kamal El Gargni the former 212 Mr. Olympia champion and on the right you have the Orlando Pro 2023 winner Phil Klahar so during the comparisons by numerical order it happened that Max Charles and Phil Klahar were standing right next to each other and this was a very very interesting comparison it was very close between these two guys as you can see uh, Max has better quads you know he has more flaring quads and these shots are like he's very very good shots relaxed shots like front relaxed quarter turns but from the back it was a completely different story I mean Max was okay but Phil is known for a great back and I think he really brought his A game to this show he brought something very close to his 2021 Texas Pro version, which was his absolute best, but I think this kind of rivals that. Uh, here you can see Max Charles in the quarter turns, because of his aesthetics, because of his long muscle belly, his beautiful uh, midsection as well, he really flows super well in these relaxed shots, right? Like, he has really good aesthetics. But no, he is not as dominant in the mandatories. However, he is very, very good. I do think it's a very close battle between these three guys, I will tell you who I think is going to win uh, later, but now let's check out the poses So the front relaxed, I mean be my guest, you can tell me who do you think wins here, it's very very close, I think I'd go with Max Charles, because again, like in the front relaxed, front lat spread is a very similar pose, he has like a very small waist, he has flaring quads, he has a very good V taper, a lot of fullness to the arms and chest, and uh, he's posing well, Kamal is leaning backwards a little bit too much, and he's just a smaller stature guy, so he's not looking as dominant here between these two guys who are obviously much taller than him. Back to front double once again, it's really hard to say who is winning this one, very very close, I don't think it's Phil Klahar because of his midsection, I think this one is between Max Charles and Kamal, Kamal is probably the most conditioned guy here, but again Max is just much bigger and I think Kamal's legs are a bit too flat and his waist is a bit thicker so he's not really having a great wee taper, I don't think any of these guys are having great wee tapers here, I mean this is Masters Olympia after all, but uh, I think Max Charles has the best wee taper in the front double. Now here's a shot where Max Charles loses a lot of ground, uh, Kamal has a lot of crazy details in the back, but I mean Phil has an enormous back, he has a really really big back, also very very lean, very wide, like uh, very detailed as well, as far as conditioning, you know, through the glutes and hamstrings, I think Phil is probably the most dominant, so in the back double, Phil is killing it, second spot here, I would go with Kamal. As far as the back lat spread, Phil Klahar is also dominating this one, I think very easily. Kamal, he is not able to show a lot of details in this pose, like in the, in the back double, and he can't really show some crazy weight because he's a smaller guy, and also, again, because of his proportions. His waist is not the smallest, his legs are not flaring too much, and uh, he doesn't have that much muscle in the back. So I think Max Charles is beating him in this one because of his overall mass, overall width, overall size and just better V taper or X taper. But Phil, Phil is definitely the most dominant guy here. As far as the side shots, because again of the overall mass and overall width to the shoulders, I think it's more so between uh, Phil and Max uh, rather than Kamal, I mean Kamal is conditioned and all that, you're gonna see how conditioned he was in the HD video posing footage of him and in the comparison as well, so he is very shredded but again, like these guys are much bigger and this is Olympia, a masters Olympia though but Olympia, so I think mass is very very important, the winner I think needs to be big and as far as these two guys on the sides, um, they are similar size, but I think Phil has more quality, more details, better conditioning, so I think he's winning this show, yeah. Here you can kind of see how conditioned Kamal is, and that's all great, but once again, we taper, X taper, not very good, and also the way his quads, the, the, the flatness of his quads is really throwing me off, the other two guys have more of a sweep, better X taper, more mass overall, so yeah, I don't think Kamal is gonna win this, even though he's in the center here, I don't have him as the winner. 
But I'm not saying that he's not going to win. He might win because of conditioning. Maybe this is looking completely different in person. Maybe his conditioning is so impressive that the judges have to give it to him. But I don't know. I don't know. It's Olympia again. And I think there is a reason for him being in the center here. That probably means that he's in the conversation of winning this show. And I'm not saying he has no chance of winning it. I can see how shredded he is. But again, I think because of the size, I think it's more likely to be Phil Klahar, who wins this uh, Masters Olympia 2023, and I think Max Charles is going to be third. Here he looks amazing in the most muscular, also one of his best poses, along with the front relax and the quarter turns, this is one of his best poses, he does look amazing here, he looks freaky, he brought an amazing package, Milo Sarcev is prepping him again, they did a great job, and I think he looks better than I've seen him in a long time for this Masters Olympia, but do I see him as the winner here? No, unfortunately, I think Phil is gonna win it, but let's wait and see. Alright, now let's check out the video, the comparison video of the top three, and uh, Kamal wasn't in the center the whole time. As you can see, Phil was in the center right here. Once again, Kamal's conditioning is probably the best, and maybe that's why he's going to beat Max Charles, but for him to beat Phil Klahar, I think he needs to be much, much bigger, because look at this, look at this. I mean, he's killing him in this one. And as they say, shows are won from the back, and Phil has a freaking Ronnie Coleman type of back. He is really, really dominant in those poses, so I think he's, he's getting a lot of points for that. And in the side poses and the front ones as well, he's looking very, very good. Look at Max Charles in the side tricep, very good pose for him as well, like really good abs, and also like he's a big guy, he's very, very good here. From the front, he's probably even better than Phil. A little bit, not by a lot, but from the back, Phil is just destroying everybody. And here you can see why I don't think Kamal is going to win. Look at his legs, very small, very flat, can't really hang with the big boys. No, no, I don't think he can win. I noticed in the comment section of these videos on Instagram that a lot of people actually think uh, Kamal is going to win, and I get it, like, he is completely shredded, he does look very good for Kamal also. I think he brought, like, a very good version of himself. Also, I gotta say, the lighting, the background, the production of this entire show is very, very good. You know, as you can see, like, they, they got a professional photographer and videographer, so we get a lot of good content from this, from this show. The lighting is amazing, and that's probably why these guys look so good. Look at Kamal's back, like, he's peeled, like, he's peeled, dry, detailed. Uh, but again, like the width to the shoulders, the, the, the size of the waist, the, the size of the legs, the sweep, the axe taper, it's all lacking. So I don't see him as the Mr. Olympia Masters winner. But yeah, he brought a very good package of himself. He looks very, very good. A bit too small for Mr. Olympia, in my opinion. But who knows? Maybe this conditioning will take him a long way. Oops, what happened there? Ooh, I guess he's too dehydrated because he does look like that. So yeah, I mean, doing these crazy poses is definitely not easy. But he pulled it together. He did a very good presentation. He looked amazing. Once again, the production value of this show, very, very good. I gotta say, spot on. And I also think all of these guys really brought their A game. Uh, the quality of the video is also very good. So I think what we see right here is pretty much exactly what is happening on that stage. Like, no, you can't really tell based on the video. You gotta be there in person. I know that. I've seen a lot of great videos of the shows I've been at personally. So I know it's always a difference. No matter how good a quality the video is, it's always much better in person, but I think we can get a very good idea, I think we can be like 90% accurate with our assessments, so I think, in my opinion again, I think Phil Klahar is winning this, I think Max Charles is going to be third, uh, here you can see pretty much why, like from the back, it's not that he's not lean, like he's lean I'm sure, and he's full and everything like that, but I think his back is just not good enough, maybe it atrophied a little bit the years. Uh, I think the glutes as well are not showing great separation, the hamstrings as well. So from behind, he doesn't have the quality, like the other two guys have. And like from the front and from the sides in these poses like this, for example, uh, side tricep, he looks amazing, he looks crazy, look at this one. Yeah, like very, very aesthetic, very, very good. But for him to win this show, he needs a much better back, in my opinion. And so overall, I think Phil Klahar is just the best combination of size, of fullness, of conditioning, of details. Maybe not as pretty as Max Charles from the front, 
but simply much, much bigger than Kamal. Definitely a lot, a lot more muscle. Definitely a better weed taper. I'm not a big fan of his midsection. That can be, you know, problematic, but I don't think it's that bad. I think he's controlling it quite nicely. So I think he did enough. Uh, in the side poses as well, looking pretty good, like not bad, not horrible, yeah, Max Charles is probably a little bit better than him in side poses, but not that much, not as much as he's killing everybody from the back, I and mean, look at this freaking back, right, wow, wow, crazy, and I think this is very, very good, like, for him, you know, his 2021 Texas Pro version when he was battling against Ian Valier and Steve Kuklo, that was probably his best, but I think this is very, very close to that, maybe even better, I don't know, but like the, the, the video quality is very good, the lighting is very good, the background also, just the Olympia logo, very dark background, so I think these guys are looking at their best on this stage, I think they all brought their A game, so... Yeah, I think what we see right here is what is happening, again, in my opinion, Phil first, Kamal second, and Max third. Oh yeah, and also we got a comeback of Josh Lenartowitz. I don't know if you guys forgot about this guy, I had no idea that he's over 40 or 40 years old. Uh, I remember him back in the day when Dallas McCarver was coming up, uh, there was also Nathan Diasha, and Josh Lenartowitz was one of those guys that were coming up at that time, that were like the youngsters, the new kids on the block, uh, it was back in 2016-17, so they were like the new hopes of bodybuilding, if you guys followed bodybuilding on YouTube back then, Louis Marco was making a lot of videos, and uh, again, Josh was one of the young hopes, but I guess he wasn't that young, I mean, that was only like 5-6 years ago, so he was in his mid-30s at the time, at least, so, yeah, I guess we were tricked by, by that, by his look, he doesn't look that old, but again, uh, he was here, he did uh, the Masters Olympia, he looked okay, he looked decent, but nowhere near to what he looked like back in the day, uh, his waist looked uh, pretty big, I don't think it was any bigger than it was back in the day, but he was just overall much bigger back then, so, like, he, he atrophied a little, he lost some size, and that made his waist look much bigger, so, yeah, not like, not the best version of Josh Nartu, it's not even close, uh, where he will place at this show, I have no idea, you guys be my guest, you can tell me, uh, pretty good conditioning, pretty good package overall, I guess, uh, for a comeback, but no, no, not as good as he once was, definitely not. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys, you can tell me in the comment section down below who do you think is going to win this show, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this, and if you want me to keep making all this awesome content for you guys, there is the link down below in the description of this video, you can just click on it, you can browse the Old School Labs website, and you can check out what supplements they have, if you like something, you can buy it, and you can use the code EVAN for a 15% discount, and that's how you can support me and this channel, so thank you guys so much, see you soon in the next video, all the best guys, and bye bye.